It's a beautiful day out here. There's a buzz down here. There's a playoff sort of vibe going on as the Kings get ready to take on the Dallas Mavericks. First of two, both of these games are going to go a long way in deciding which team will be a play-in team and right. which team will be a playoff team. Right. Henry, first of all, it's just great to be outside soaking in some sun here. Hey, I tell you what, I love this, man. I mean, they, it, it can't get no better. I mean, can, can you imagine? What, what, I mean, I'm going to be positive. Yes. When we make the playoffs, man, we broadcast from out here and the sun no is doubt. out and everybody's going to be walking around. It's going to be lit out here, dog. No question. We're just outside. If you're familiar with the area, the skating rink during the winter, come by and say hi. Henry and I will be with you until 630 getting you ready for Kings Live pregame. 7 o'clock tip tonight, Kings and Mavs. National TV tonight, TNT in the house. Right. I've just seen uh, – um, damn, I did, is his name? name just, just Michael a, Grady is doing part of the uh, call tonight. Greg Anthony. Yeah, Greg Anthony's yeah, here I, as well. I, I just saw Greg Anthony walk in. UNLV Rebel. I wanted to go choking. <laughs> you had some great battles with him in those big West I'm, days. I'm, I'm like, man, y'all beat us every time for the championship. I never could go to the dance. UNLV was my nemesis. That's when the big West was big, man. Yeah, you talk yeah. about those UNLV teams. You Whoa. had some great Titan teams. Santa Barbara with Brian Shaw. Yeah, I mean, and uh, New Mexico State was yeah. good. Long Beach State stepped it up. You know, I mean, even Irvine. Irvine had a squad one year. That we, yeah. I mean, we had to Scotty Brooks with. was on that yeah, team. Yeah, Wayne Engelstad was on that team. Yeah. I mean, we, we had some boys that we had to deal with. You did. All right. We can reminisce about that, but we've got Kings to talk about today because obviously it's a huge game for Sacramento coming off the win last night against Philadelphia, taking care of business at home against a Philadelphia team with Tyrese Maxey, who seemed like he was going to score 100 points to break Wilt's record to start the game. Oh, did Tyrese Maxey start off right? I mean, man, he really gave me a scare, bro. I'm talking about uh, when he started knocking those shots down, it seemed like nobody could stay in front of him. Nobody could stop him. I mean, even when he blew past his man and got to the basket, he was still scoring over the help. Yep. I was like, oh, fellas, we got to find something down. We got to find something. We got to think about it. At one point, it was 16-15 Maxi <laughs> right. the Kings. Right. I mean, hey, it was him and Keegan Murray going yes. head to head, toe for toe, blow no, for blow. No doubt. Obviously, the Kings figured out the riddle to Tyrese. He had that huge first quarter. Went for 21, but he only had eight points the remainder of the game. The Kings did a nice job in the final three quarters against them. You, you know what they did, Scott? They they, they, they started blitzing him. They started getting, getting him off the ball and letting some other guys try to beat them. I mean, because really, I mean, they you, you look at that team, they have a lot of talent. I mean, they got pain. They had, uh, you know, a couple of other guys out there. Tobias, Tobias Harris. Harris. Uh, Buddy Heald coming back. You know, Buddy Buckets was there. You know, they had a lot of a, a lot of good talent, but for some reason, it's not really clicking now. It may click when they get the big fella back, because I know a, a, a lot stemmed from Embiid down in the middle, and then you put complimentary players around him, and it works. But for those guys to have to step up and be that guy, it just didn't work. Yeah, they didn't have Kelly Oubre last night, right. too. And Kelly Oubre was a big part that it, 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 it just didn't work. I mean, I mean, we've seen some of those dudes, man, walk into G1, and they have really given us problems. I mean, Payne has given us problems a lot. You know, same thing with um, Kelly Oubre has given us problems. Multiple teams. Tobias Harris has given us problems. <laughs> you know, I mean – they got they they had some very nice players, but for some reason, once you got the ball out of the guards' hands, the other guys just wasn't equipped to get it done. Yeah, no, they didn't, and give the Kings a lot of credit because they did make adjustments. And obviously, it was a banner night for Demontis Sabonis breaking the single season consecutive double double mark. His fifty yes. fourth double double, his twenty fifth triple double. You know what? Shout out to the big fella. I mean, you know what? That's Herculean. I mean, you know, you, you 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 can't even quantify that. You know, nobody else has done it. You know, the record has stood since the NBA and the ABA has merged. That, yeah. That's been forever. So for him to be able to do that, I salute him big time. Yeah, no, it was quite the accomplishment. And obviously Mike Brown was all over that in the post game. Uh, you know, and we feel strongly about it because we're here. We're seeing him play every game. Can't make an all-star team, but he better make an all-NBA team. Man, I mean, we, we've been beating this dead horse for a while, and, you know, I've, I've gotten upset about it. I, I've ranted about it. I've raged about it. But, you know, until the Kings start getting their due respect, 
things of that nature, what Sabonis has done, they're not going to look over it, but they're going to push it to the side. Yep. Because if that was Anthony Davis, it would be through the roof. You know, if that was Zion, it would be through the roof. You know, but it's here in Sacramento. The guys got to really fight for every little thing they got. Now they got big time respect last year, but I think a lot of people that's in the media and 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 the, and a lot of the naysayers that know about the NBA was like, okay, that was just a fluke. It was just a one and done. They got to repeat that. Now, if the Kings can repeat what they did last year, go back to the playoffs, make another good little run, they'll start getting more respect. Yeah, definitely. They've got to earn it, and obviously it starts with nights like tonight. It's the Kings come in, 42 and 29. The Dallas Mavericks come in at 42 and 29, and the anticipation for this one is large. The Mavericks come in. They're playing some great basketball. They've won nine of their last ten, including including winning last night at Utah. They have things cooking right now. You know, the funny thing is, uh, Scott, I told you, I just wouldn't talk to Jason for a hot second yep. before I came out here. And, yeah, uh, you and Jay Kidd are close friends. Uh, yeah, we boys. And uh, he's like, they need it. He's like, yo, man, we need this game. And I looked at him and I said, you know what, Jay? We need this game also. <laughs> so, you know, I said, this is going to be a situation of uh, like Mufasa and Scar. Yeah. You're going to have. Two alpha lions going at it hard because we both need that bone. Yeah, we definitely do. And, uh, you know, the Kings and really the Mavs to some extent, too, uh, when they met a couple of months ago, much different teams. Uh, you know, the, the Kings have become more defensive oriented. Obviously, with starting Keon Ellis, they're defending the three point ball better. Uh, this is a team that feels a little bit more well-rounded potentially going into the playoffs right now. Scott, both of these teams are well they, – they, they are evolving. You know, they're trying to get better because, you know, this isn't the end-all, end be-all for the Kings, and it definitely isn't the end-all, be-all for the Mavericks. Both of these teams want to get better. They're building cohesiveness. So, yeah, it's not the exact same team you saw a few months ago because they're starting to find things out. They're starting to figure it out, just like Dallas. Yeah, definitely they are. And, uh, you know, again, give Mike Brown some credit in the game last night. As you talked about, they made adjustments on Tyrese Maxey. Uh, bringing in Davian, you know, was a big deal. Also, like you said, blitzing the basketball, being willing to, to mix things up defensively. And this team in March has been a very good defensive team. Well, since the All-Star break, Scott, yeah. the referees have been calling it a sure. lot different. You know, I would say a little looser, loosely. Mm -hmm. Can we can we say yes, that? Yes, we can say that. And then uh, the Kings understanding that, okay, we have to match physicality. I honestly think that New York Nick game was a blessing and a curse mm -hmm. because that New York Nick game showed the Sacramento Kings that there's another level to physicality. And if you can start playing at that level, uh, you can get away with a lot of things. And when it comes down to the end of the game, you might just win. You put yourself in a better position to win. So the Kings start ramping up their physicality. Like, you know what? If they're going to let him let them hold and grab and pull. We're going to try it too. And they did. And yeah. they start seeing some, some, um, some, some productivity out of it. Yeah, no doubt about it. So obviously Mike Brown, very pleased with what he's seeing right now. And the Kings, well, they're trending well. Uh, but we said tonight it's going to come down to these final 10 games of the season. Uh, how about? Phoenix yesterday losing to San Antonio Ooh. for the third time Ooh. this year. Wow. You know, is it matchup? No is Wemby it, last night either. No, 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 I'm telling you. I'm just saying, is it matchup? Some people want to say it's matchup. I look at it as, ooh, that's, that, 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 that sends a signal mm -hmm. when you start talking about it. Now, we're talking about a team that's championship or bust. Yep. We're not talking about a Dallas or a Sacramento or, you know, we're talking about a team that's yep. championship or bust. If they don't make it to the championship, their season is a bust. Yeah. You know, they got three Hall of Famers, three Hall of Famers, and they're trying to make that championship push. And for them to go into San Antonio and deal with them not once, not twice, but three times and yeah. get smacked and then without Wimby, that's saying something. Yeah. And Nurkic went out of that game. Beal went out of that game with a finger injury, he had an MRI everything was clear on it, but you have to wonder about the health. And now Phoenix enters the toughest part of their schedule for the last 10 games. And see, Scott, I think that's the whole thing in a ball of wax for the Phoenix Suns is their health. They haven't had a chance to have all of those guys on the floor to even start thinking about some cohesiveness play. You understand what I'm saying? I do. I mean, KD has been on. Then all of a sudden, KD's out. Then you got Book that came back. Bradley Bill has just been a train wreck yep. the whole year. 
he really hasn't been exactly what they thought he was going to be. And, you know, you really can't point the finger at him because the dude's been hurt. So, you know, this Phoenix uh, phenomenon that we think is going to happen this year, they probably gonna have to wait until next year to say, okay, we're going to make one more run at this thing with you three and see if it'll work. Yeah, right now, as you look at the Western Conference standings, You've got the Kings and the Mavs, identical records of 42 and 29. The Suns are a half game back, 42 and 30. Of course, the Kings and Suns match up on April 12th. That could be an epic game as well. All right, I'll look back at last night's game, brought to you by Folsom Lake Honda, your one-stop Honda shop. We'll take a look, of course, as we always do at the points in the paint. The Kings, for the last couple of games, have been buried in the uh, lane, both in the Washington game. By the way, the Wizards have now won three straight. Not that uh, they're going to write home about it, but I'm just pointing that out. They beat the Bulls last night as well. Kings got hammered in Orlando in the paint. Uh, last night against the Sixers, they win the points in the paint battle 52-42, and that's more the Kings' pace. So are you saying that the Sacramento Kings just jump-started the Washington Wizards? <laughs> <laughs> hey, whatever the Kings allow the Washington hey, to do, they found something. Hey, we, we, we have resuscitated the Washington Wizards uh, <laughs> a season this year. But uh, you know what, Scott? This basketball team, and you were talking about the points in the paint. Yeah. I honestly think that they can utilize that more. Because how many times – just, just think about – the last three games, the last three games, our opponents have been very light mm -hmm. in the middle. Yep. We just haven't elected to put Sabonis down there and let him go to work. We use him, yep. but we don't utilize him. Yeah. You know, I want to see a game to where like, like, like against Philly. Yep. All right. You got Mo Bamba. Yep. Has to guard Sabonis. Sabonis gave Mo Bamba two fouls in the first four minutes. We supposed to throw that ball in the Sabonis Keep every time, it every inside. time Absolutely. down, murder them, and then when the young kid from Pleasant Grove, what was his name? The the, the, the young kid that played here in Sacramento, that that, that plays with Philly, yeah. just just signed the ten day. Oh, he T.J. Wilson. There we go. Yeah, T.J. Right. Wilson, out of Capital Christian. Right, 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 right. The young kid played here. Yeah. You know what? Had a young kid, T.J. Wilson, on him. T.J. Wilson. I mean, excuse me, T.J. Yeah. D.J. Yeah. Wilson supposed to kill him. Yeah. Take him to school. Now, all of a sudden, you don't have a big man left if you get him into foul trouble. And Sabonis has his way. But we don't do that. We you we throw it into him. He scores a couple. And then we go away from him. Yeah. It's one of those things where you have to utilize that, bro. If he, if he has a mismatch, every play down, Sabonis, we coming to you. Yeah. Well, nevertheless, it was a record-breaking night for Domas. The triple-double, the 54th consecutive double-double. He beats Kevin Love for the single Season record. Congrats to Domas. The Kings again uh, winning last night, 108 to 96, setting up the showdown. Our look back at the points in the paint brought to you by RT Painting, your reliable and trusted painter in the Sacramento market since 1998. When we come back, we'll focus in. Lucas in town, Kyrie's in town. The Mavs are here. I've seen a lot of 77 jerseys walking around too. So, you know, you know what? Luca carry a little bit of weight, man. He I mean, does. He, he has a lot of fan base. You know, I said it on the other show, and I'm going to say it here. You know, I'm not a fan of Luca's game, but I respect it. Yep. You got to respect I, it. I definitely respect it. All right. That and a lot more coming your way. The High Flyer, yours truly, we're coming to you live from the Beach Hut Deli, the downtown location. We're across the street from Golden One Center. We're set up where the skating rink is during the winter. Come by and say hi. We'll be here until 6.30 tonight, getting you ready for Kings Live pregame. It's a 7 o'clock tip tonight. Kings and Mavs, first of two. National TV here. TNT tonight, 7 o'clock. But, of course, keep it here. Sacktown Sports 1140, the G-Man with the call. Back with more game night coming to you live from downtown on Sacktown Sports 1140. You never know what you might hear when listening to a Sacramento Kings game. Out of Keegan, going for another triple. Man, is he feeling it. Keegan, can he do it? Yes, there's number 11, Keegan Murray. Keegan steps back. He just knocked down his 12th three-pointer, a Kings franchise record. He's got 45 points. Never miss a moment of Sacramento Kings basketball with Sacktown Sports and the Sacktown Sports app. Nighttime is the right time to track your golf ball's flight time at the Hagen Oaks Top Tracer Driving Range. It's more relaxed at night with people enjoying the Top Tracer technology where you can play Pebble Beach at Hagen Oaks. You can compete against your friends in a variety of games or 
Just practice with the Top Tracer television technology. There's food when you're hungry from the hangout food truck or enjoy a craft beer on the brand new patio with relaxed seating. And don't forget the summer long free concert schedule. It's the Hagen Oaks driving range nightly until midnight, Fulton Avenue at Cap City Freeway. Norman, we need to pause this surgery. What, doctor? Because Xfinity Mobile just got even better. Now you're automatically connected to Wi-Fi speeds up to a gig while you're on the go. Plus, existing Xfinity customers can buy one unlimited line and get one free for a year. Visit XfinityMobile.com to learn more. Offer ends 621. Restrictions apply. Existing Xfinity Internet service and two mil unlimited lines required. Reduce speeds after 30 gigabytes of usage per line. Data thresholds may vary. Actual Wi-Fi speeds vary, not guaranteed. Capital Casino has been serving the greater Sacramento area in the same convenient downtown location for over 20 years with plenty of close-by, well-lit parking monitored by security staff and offering the most variety of table games in the region in a safe and friendly environment. Best food, best service, and the best action, that's Capital Casino. For more information on tournaments and gaming, check out their website at capital-casino.com. And please remember to gamble responsibly, 1-800-GAMBLER. Kevin Lewis with National Garage Door, reminding you that in Sacramento, National Garage Door is the king of garage doors. We service, sell, and install garage doors and openers. Call us today for your basketball special. A new 16x7 Rainer Garage Door, with insulation and a belt drive opener for only $24.49 installed. Give us a call today, 916-638-4554. National Garage Store. Welcome back in the game night right here. Sacktown Sports, 1140. Scott Marshall on with the high flyer, Henry Turner. Coming to you live from the Beach Hut in the downtown area. We're at 7th and K. Come by and say hi as you come on out to the game tonight. What a great, glorious day it is in our capital city. The it's sun nice. is out. It is nice. A buzz in the air. A huge game. That's what it's all about. That's why Golden One Center was built. And now we get to reap all the uh, rewards of getting everything done in our capital city. Kings 42 and 29. The Mavs are 42 and 29. We're going to talk about Luca and Kyrie and break down the Mavs. But first, we have one of our great uh, listeners to the station, always in our YouTube chat room. Yes, sir. Manny Too Legit is down here. Too we, Legit to quit. Bum, bum. We're going to bring him on and let him ask his question for us live on the radio today. Manny, how are you, buddy? Good, but we can't hear you, so that's uh, an interesting challenge. We'll see if we can get that straightened away. But um, it's great to have people come down here, Henry. It's good to see people. It is, man, and you know what? It, it's good to be out in the community. And you know, for a lot of our a lot of our listeners, they get to put a face to the voice. You know, they hear us all the time and they recognize our voice, but they really don't know what we look like. So whenever the, you know your fans get to come down or listeners get to come down and see exactly who you are, I mean they might they won't look at my face. I don't know if they're <laughs> but they want to see what we look like, man. So so they can see us and say, hey, I know that guy. Exactly. I know him. All right, Manny, give it another shot here. Yeah, we still can't hear you, unfortunately. I don't know why we can't, but we'll we'll get that figured out, Manny, and we'll uh, we'll bring you back on. He wanted to ask us about Domas and whether you think uh, Domas has a chance of being a Hall of Famer eventually. Oh, yeah, he'll be there. No doubt. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the numbers he's putting up, man, no doubt. He will be there. If he keep going at the rate, I mean, think about it. The dude then broke some big-time records already. Mm -hmm. So, you know, for him not to have a chance to be, you know, in the Hall of Fame, he'll be there. All right, Manny, we, we should have you now. So let's try that Testing. again. There you go. We got you. All right, so what do you think about that? You happy to hear that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What do you think? You think he – is going to be a Hall of Famer eventually when it's all said and done? At this rate, how he's playing, I feel like he can. Okay. But maybe, like, not anytime soon, but then, like, maybe in, like, a good five years from now? I, I think Bo Domas ten, would be one of those years. guys who's appreciated more with time, like a final well, line. But, but here's the deal, Manny. This guy has done something that hasn't been done since the NBA and the ABA has been joined. You know, we're talking about Hall of Famers, all Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, Kareem, all of these guys hasn't done what Sabonis has done. 
So you mean to tell me that he's not going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer? First ballot, wow. First ballot Hall of Famer? Okay. All right. It's high praise. Think about it. I mean, dude, he, he, he's a walking triple-double. Yep. He lay down to get double-double. Yeah. He get that to get out the bed. Yeah, I hear you. So when was the last time have we said that almost every record Sabonis has been breaking or he's on the 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 – the, 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 the track to break mm -hmm. has Will Chamberlain at the beginning of it. So whenever you're in the conversation with Will, you're Hall of Famer. Agreed. All right, Manny, anything else you want to share with us while you're here? He is currently leading in triple-doubles and double-doubles. Yes, he is. Right? That's true. 25. Absolutely. He's having an MVP-like season, although it's not like he will win it, but he yes. certainly is deserving of consideration. Manny, it's great to see you. Thanks yeah, for coming down here. Much guys. appreciate it. You know what? Here's the deal. If if you just take numbers, and, and I keep saying this about Sabonis because yeah. I think the jersey that he wears really, you know, pushes everything aside. You take the numbers yep. that Sabonis is putting in right now and just put them up against whoever else in the league, mm -hmm. the dude is MVP hands down. No question. I 100% agree with that. The dude is MVP hands yeah. down. You know who else is having an MVP season? Come on, give it to me, man. <laughs> you know what I'm going to say. Come on, give it he's to me. He's here and he's wearing green tonight. That's Luca Doncic. Um, number 77 is definitely an MVP caliber candidate. I know he's not your favorite player, but you will give credit where credit is. Oh, due. no, no, You'll no. Mad no. Props. You know what, though? Don't get me wrong, Scott. I said that I'm not a fan of his game, but yeah. I respect the dude. Yeah. I respect him 300%. You know, how he can score, how he maneuvers, how he gets it done on the offensive side. You know, my my only gripe with Luca is the way that he cries to the official. Yeah. Besides that, the the, the 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 dude is one of the best players I've seen coming to the league in a long time. Let me read you his numbers. He's averaging thirty four point one points a game, nine rebounds, mm. nine point eight assists. Mm. So it's not outside the realm. He could average a triple double. Probably won't get there because the rebounds probably a little too far back at this point. But you never know. Uh, shooting 48.6% from the field, 37.3% from three-point range, yep. averaging over 10 three attempts per, per contest. Mm -hmm. Those sound like MVP numbers to me. MVP numbers, big time. Big time. Like I said, the dude is is, is, is a freak. Yep. He can play this game. And, you know, and he, he doesn't have the over-the-rim Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan flashy game that yeah. way. He doesn't get it done that way. But as far as being able to know the game, basketball IQ, get to his spots, be able to handle the basketball, a very willing and decent passer, the dude is nice, man. I mean, he really is. Yeah, but he probably hasn't reached anywhere near uh, the high point of his career yet. You know, he's just getting better and better. He's getting better and better. And I'm pretty sure, I mean, he's played enough in the NBA now to where the game has slowed down for him. Yeah. All he do now is pick and choose what he wants to do. And it wasn't very fast to begin with. Exactly. Because it's, it's, not, <laughs> the, it's not like he's the fastest guy on the floor. No. You know, I mean, I tease the dude all the time. And, you know, I look at it like this. When somebody hate on you, that's a form of flattery. Yeah. Because, you know, your name is in their mouth. And basically, we have nothing that we could do to stop you. And that's where Luca is right now. Yep. And then you put Kyrie with him. Oh, now you know I love me some Kyrie. I Irving. know you do. Kyrie's over 25 points a game, five rebounds, five assists, 49% field, 40.5% from three. Uncle Drew, love me some Kyrie Irving. You know what? I'm looking at Kyrie Irving now, and, and I have a newfound respect yeah. for, for Kyrie. I, I really do because Kyrie is an alpha. I don't care mm -hmm. what you say. Yep. He's an alpha. He's a number one guy. But he's really come to this team and said, okay, I'm going to let a little bit of my game go to the back seat just to fit in here and make this work. It's not too many alphas that do that, that, that does that. That's the problem down in L.A. with the Clippers right now. Those alphas down there are not willing to give up anything for the better good of the game. Kyrie gives up a lot of what he's used to doing and really defers a lot to Luka because this is Luka's yeah. squad. But it makes them work, and I salute him for that. Yeah, no question. And you can tell they're really enjoying each other. When Kyrie hit that incredible game winner, that left-hand <laughs> hook shot, throw shot, whatever you want to call it, from uh, the right elbow about 15 feet out to get the game winner to beat Denver, 
you saw Luca's reaction. He was amazed with what he saw by Kyrie, but he was thrilled to see what Kyrie did. You know what? Yeah. I mean, a young player to be able to see uh, an a, a icon like Kyrie Irving and have him on your team, understanding this mm-hmm. is Luca's team, but yeah. you got a guy like Kyrie. And I'm pretty sure Luca's like, yes, I have some help. It isn't all on me. I got another guy. Just in case if I'm struggling a little bit, I got another guy that could probably carry carry us for a quarter, two quarters, yeah. and sometimes for a game. No doubt. Then you throw in PJ Washington. They go out. Some more veterans, they complimentary get Gafford players. Gafford as yeah. well. Kleba's healthy again. I mean, mm-hmm. this team is a different ball club that the uh, Kings beat a couple of months ago back in January. And so the Kings are a different team and the Mavs are a different team. Bottom yeah. line. I mean, you know what? These two games, man, is, is are, are probably two of the biggest games this year mm-hmm. for the Sacramento Kings. Yep, no doubt about that. And to your point about the Clippers losing again last night, Pacers go and blow them out at Crypto.com, 133-116. And you wouldn't ever think that, you know, a team that's loaded like the Clippers, I mean, they're loaded, man. I mean, they, they got talent from here to the moon. But the thing about it is that none of those guys are willing to say, okay, we're going to sacrifice this to make it work. Everybody wants to be that guy. Everybody wants to be that alpha. Yeah, the Clippers now are 44 and 27. Both the Kings and Mavericks are only two games back of the Clippers for the five spot. Could either the Kings or the Mavs catch the Clips? We'll talk about that. We'll go around the league. We'll get you caught up on all the other news and notes. It's uh, Scott Marsh and the High Flyer Henry Turner. We're coming to you live. We're outside the Beachhead Deli, the one downtown off 7th and K. Come by and say hi on your way out to the game. We'll be here until 6.30 tonight. Brad Wakai, the outstanding owner of this facility. It's great to be out here. Troy Feist, of course, good friends of Sacktown Sports. We're privileged to be out here for the next 30 minutes, and we'd love to see you. Game night being brought to you by Power Business Technology. Experience how the power of family can help your business office equipment needs today. Contact them at 844-POWER-BZ or go to powercopiers.com. More of game night coming your way next right here on Sacktown Sports 1140. The battle for a top six seed in the Western Conference continues tonight as Luka Doncic, Kyrie Irving, and the Dallas Mavericks visit Golden One Center to face the Kings. Rebounded by Sacramento. Fox on the move. Three defenders in front of him. Doesn't make a lick of difference here. And Fox twists his way to the low right side and scores on the reverse. It's a huge clash tonight at 7 on your proud home of the Sacramento Kings. Sacktown Sports. Discover your dream home at Subcontractors United, your source for all home improvement needs. A talented team of home services experts is ready to make your projects a breeze. No more endless internet searches. Find your contractors in one place. Enjoy stress-free service absolutely free with no hidden costs and no accounts to set up. Transform your living space into something extraordinary. Visit Subcontractors United today and experience the joy of hassle-free home improvement. Dream big at Subcontractors United. United.com. With RT Painting, our name says it all. We are a reliable and trusted commercial and residential painting company serving the Sacramento area since 1998. Employee owned, our attention to detail is second to none. Put our decades of experience serving our community to use for you. Get a free quote today. Call us at 916 900 8112. That's 916 900 8112. Or go online to rtpainting.com. That's rtpainting.com. RT Painting, your trusted and reliable painting contractor of choice. Dr. Ken Howachek and kinesiologist Kelsey Graham discuss the Good Feet Store. The foot has a lot of detail. It has a lot of complexity. There's a lot that can go wrong. A lot of problems start in the foot and end up elsewhere. Knee pain, hip pain, back pain. When aligning the feet properly, we can see relief elsewhere. And that's the beauty of the Good Feet Arch support. It can place the feet into their ideal position and gives them the balance, the support, the comfort, and the relief of the pain. The bottom line is that the Good Feet Arch support can be a highly effective pain relief solution when nothing else has worked. The feet have a really big impact on how the rest of the body moves. The knees, the hips, the lower back especially. If the foot isn't properly aligned, all of these joints are gonna function incorrectly. That results in a lot of muscle tension and chronic pain. What I really like about the Good Feet system is that the right arch supports can put the foot in its proper alignment. So all the joints of the rest of the body 
will be aligned properly as well. And when the body's aligned, we can reduce the risk of injury and chronic pain. Visit the Good Feet store in Sacramento, Roseville, Modesto, Stockton, and Vacaville for a free fitting and test walk. Hi, this is Henry Turner, a.k.a. The High Flyer. I've done a lot of amazing things on the basketball floor, but now it's your turn to be amazing. For more than 55 years, Big Brothers and Big Sisters of Sacramento has helped out the youth beat many odds. Too many littles, especially boys, are still waiting for volunteers, Big Brothers. Volunteers just spend at least four to six hours a month with local youth who needs guidance and support. So donate your time to Big Brothers and Big Sisters of the greater Sacramento area. Get involved. It's easy as a layup. Call 916 916- Six six four six ninety three hundred. From the Power Business Technology Toshiba Studios. Your home for Kings basketball for over 25 seasons. No look, Bibby to Weber, down the lane, flying jam. There's your play of the night right there. It's inside is Sabonis, a two-hand rip. A brilliant pass from De'Aaron Fox. KHTKAM Sacramento, KYMX HD2 Sacramento. Sandown Sports. Welcome back in the game night, coming to you live. We're outside the Beachhead Deli. We're in the downtown. We're just outside the Golden One Center. We'll be heading over there in just a little bit. Kings and Mavs tonight. Huge matchup between these two teams. Third matchup of the year. And, of course, Henry, if the Kings win tonight or they win Friday night, they win the season series against the Mavs, which could be huge. Oh, man, we need it. We need both of these, Scott. You know, you can't look over one and go to the next. We need both of these. We need to start tonight and really come out, play great basketball, and then rewind this thing and come in Friday and get them again. We need both games for sure. Yes, we do. All right, the Kings are 42-29. and 29. The Mavs are 42-29. and 29. We'll have our injury report coming up in the next segment. Luca is listed as questionable mm-hmm. for this game. I think we all know what that means in reality, but we'll go through the full uh, list in our next segment. Right now, we want to go around the league get you caught up on all the other news and notes. And one thing I did throw out there, and you talked about, but the Clippers are slumping right now, 44-27. and They've only won four of their last ten. They've lost their last two games. Is it possible? We thought for sure they were locked to have a first-round home advantage. They're outside looking in. They're technically tied with the Pelicans right now, but the Pels have won eight of ten. Is it possible the Clippers could be sliding all the way outside the playoffs? Wait, hold on. They're tied with the Pelicans. So that means that they're only two games above the Kings and Dallas. Correct. With both of those teams. So basically, it can be a four way mismatch of who's going to get that five and six spot. It could. I mean, four, five, six, and seven are all right. All right there. And and the Suns, of course, at 42 and 30, you can't uh, throw them out of the mix at all. Wow. I mean, it's it's tough, man. It's tight. <laughs> it is. I mean, every game is going to come down to, okay, we need every last game. And then, Scott, you might need every last point. No doubt. To make it happen. Game night, again, being brought to you by Mercedes-Benz of Stockton. Check out their full line of luxury vehicles at mbofstockton.com. No doubt every game is going to count for the remainder of the season. Right. That is certainly the case. Um Milwaukee tonight blowing out the Lakers. LeBron's not playing again, high flyer. That ankle is having him sit out. How concerned should the Lakers be with Ooh. LeBron missing late season games like this? You know, we, we always talk about LB. The thing about it is, is that the Lakers are going to go as far as LB takes them. If LB isn't uh, engaged, they are a total different basketball team. We saw that, Scott. When I, remember when you and I was having this conversation about the uh, in-season tournament? Yep. I said, LeBron's locked in. The Lakers looked great. They went and they won the championship because LeBron was locked in. Yep. LeBron right now, he he's not locked into this season, man. I mean, you know, I'm not saying the dude don't want to win, but it's one of those situations to where they get down so much, he's like, I'm not going to kill myself just to make it to the 11th to 10th spot. Yeah, no doubt. That game is mid-third right now. Lakers making somewhat of a comeback. Bucks are up 72-62 in that game. How about the Warriors? They're in Miami right now. They're leading the Heat 75-69 to midway through the third. We have a Warrior fan out here. But what about the Warriors right now? Because 
They're clinging to that 10 spot right now. Clinging as the Rockets have won nine straight. You know what? The, the, the Warriors are a, a, a scary type team because, you know, they still have the personnel. You know, they still have the guys. They still got Steph. They still got Clay, Draymond, and the other complimentary players. But this is the Warriors' last dance, bro. Yep. This is their last dance. That dynasty is not what it used to be. They're still trying to hang on now. I do believe this. If they start playing good basketball, they're going to be a team to be reckoned with. Do I think the Warriors have enough to get a championship? No, I don't. I don't think they do either. Do they have enough to get out of the play-in? I mean, right now it's tough. It is. Right, right now they have to give it everything they got. And Steph really has to come out and be the giant that he is for them to win regular season games. No doubt. Clay Thompson's got 20 in the game for Golden State in that game right now. Uh, so we'll see. The Warriors obviously have their work cut out for them. There was some question about Steph Curry's minutes the other night. Lots of things going on with the Warriors, but you wouldn't expect it to be any other way. You know, that's Warriors basketball. You know, the thing about it is that, like I said, all of those guys are still there. They know. I mean, I'm sorry. Even down the, to, 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 to the coach, Steve Kerr, he knows that this is their last stance. After this year, they're going to be making big time changes. They're going to be playing the younger guys more. As you see, even Steph numbers yep. are going down. They are for some of those younger guys to play because I'm sorry. It's just evolution. They love those guys. Those guys are going to be warriors for life. But after a while, you look at the situation, what's going on around you. You have to be able to start playing some of these young guys because you got old hats. You can't play those guys, those big time minutes like that. You can't. All right. Thunder and Pelicans right now. OKC leading in New Orleans 71 to 56. The Thunder looking for their 50th win of the year. If the Pelicans lose, they got 28 losses. They're coming back. That's what I'm saying. That could help us right there. That's a game that, you know, I really hate the scoreboard watch. You know, because yeah. I, I really want the Sacramento Kings to take control of their own destiny. But that's a game that we're going to be watching. We're going to be watching mm -hmm. what New Orleans do. We're going to be watching what Phoenix does now. Yeah, We're going to be watching what the Clippers do now. I mean, we got to watch scoreboard big time and then worry about the guys that's behind us. No doubt. Of course, the, the Pelicans come in again on April 11th. Uh, the one advantage, of course, the Pels will have regardless they is they, they've got the tiebreaker against us. us. Yes, they got us. So no matter what, if we might – end up tied with them they leapfrog us yeah no doubt about that so that's a look around the league um, some other interesting news you know we've been talking a lot about kind of what's been going on with the the betting situation and we talked about jb bickerstaff and he was getting threats he said by gamblers that's at one crazy. point which is a totally crazy story uh now a player has been suspended the suspicion that maybe he was possibly throwing games michael porter jr's uh younger brother so you know that's wow. really interesting it's you wow. know, he plays with the toronto raptors uh sources are there's some betting issues going on with jante porter um so very interesting uh multiple instances of betting like irregularities over the past several months let me let me tell you this pertaining guy. to jante porter let me tell you this if you are a player and if you are a young player that's striving mm -hmm. to be in the nba and you're lucky enough to be in this league, yeah. to make it to this league, mm -hmm. there's nothing that you should do to detrimize your time in the NBA. No way, no how. I don't care what it is. To be betting, you know that's a no-no yep. in the NBA. There's no way. I mean, you're not a superstar. You're not going to get away with that. It's not going to be just a little slap on the hand and you're done. You're going to be out the league. Yep. So the issue is prop bets involving Porter from games on January 26th and March 20th. That's what multiple sources telling ESPN, an NBA spokesperson telling ESPN that the league is quote unquote looking into it. But again, as we know, as you've got every app on your phone and gaming becomes more legal, it's not legal here in California for games, but it, uh, it is nationally, of course. But, and uh, but, but, Scott, we knew that was coming when we started betting on uh, the NBA and the NBA started putting it out there. Yeah. And whenever you start putting some money on it to where people can just go up and put a wager out there, it's always going to be speculation about players. It's always going to be speculation about coaches, yeah. uh, referees. Yeah. All of that stuff comes into play. Now, with the league, I understand where the league is going. Because the legalized betting 
is a big payday for the sure. league. Of course. But with that big payday come all this scrutiny, come all these black mm-hmm. eyes about what's going on. Yep. All right. That's our look around the league. When we come back, we're going to break down Kings and Mavs. A lot to digest there. We'll have it all covered for you. We'll get to our honored law firm injury report as well. Game night's being brought to you by the big brothers and big sisters of Sacramento. If you have a heart of service, you want to do something good in our community. One way you could give back is by volunteering and mentoring a kid who could use an outside mentor. Call big brothers and big sisters today, 916-646-9300. Or visit bbbs-sac.org to learn all about becoming a volunteer mentor. More of game night. We're coming to you live from Beachhead Deli. We're just outside. We're near their patio. We're in the downtown common area here. Check us out on your way to the game tonight. We'd love to see you. Come and say hi. Steven was kind enough to say hi. We love him. A big Sacktown Sports 1140 fan. We'll be with you until 630 Kings Live pregame coming your way next on Sacktown Sports 1140. Keegan Murray plays here. Keegan scores another three-pointer. Keegan Murray knocking it down for 23 points. Snatch the Aaron Fox for game scoring honors. Sacktown Sports is your proud home of the Sacramento Kings. The battle for a top six seed in the Western Conference continues tonight as Luka Doncic, Kyrie Irving, and the Dallas Mavericks. Visit Golden One Center to face the Kings. Rebounded by Sacramento. Fox on the move. Three defenders in front of him. Doesn't make a lick of difference. Here and Fox twists his way to the low right side and scores on the reverse. It's a huge clash tonight at 7 on your proud home of the Sacramento Kings. Sacktown Sports. Power Business Technology is proud to be 100% independent, locally owned, and managed Toshiba Copier Dealer. Local ownership cuts out the red tape, allowing ourselves to never be too busy to personally answer the call when our clients need us. Recognized for excellence in service execution, training, and customer service, we're proud to be named a 2022 Toshiba ProMasters Elite Dealer. Contact us today for all of your business printing needs at 844-POWER-BZ. That's 844-769-3729 or visit us at powercopiers.com. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Kyle Draper here from Mercedes-Benz of Stockton. If you're an entrepreneur with a vehicle fleet, I'll tell you that outfitting your van fleet with Mercedes-Benz vans is a very smart business move. Here's why. If you use it for business, you'll likely qualify for substantial tax breaks. Plus, they're rugged, sophisticated cargo haulers that you will love driving. You'll also love the way these things look with your company logo on them. And finally, it is mercedes Mad. Madness season. That's right. Rates are available starting at 4.9% APR. Choose from any of 60 vans available right now at Mercedes-Benz of Stockton's Commercial Fleet Center next to their stunning new showroom. These folks wrote the book on what true customer service looks like. I'm a car and truck enthusiast, and I mean it when I tell you that the customer service you can expect at Mercedes-Benz of Stockton is the best. Go see their beautiful new Mercedes showroom just a half hour from SAC. Right off I-5, online as well at mbfstockton.com. Discover your dream home at Subcontractors United, your source for all home improvement needs. A talented team of home services experts is ready to make your projects a breeze. No more endless internet searches. Find your contractors in one place. Enjoy stress-free service absolutely free with no hidden costs and no account to set up. Transform your living space into something extraordinary. Visit Subcontractors United today and experience the joy of hassle-free home improvement. Dream big at subcontractorsunited.com. Capital Casino has been serving the greater Sacramento area in the same convenient downtown location for over 20 years with plenty of close-by, well-lit parking monitored by security staff and offering the most variety of table games in the region in a safe and friendly environment. Best food, best service, and the best action, that's Capital Casino. For more information on tournaments and gaming, check out their website at capital-casino.com. And please remember to gamble responsibly. 1-800-GAMBLER. Welcome back in the game night right here. Sacktown Sports 1140, our final segment as we get you ready for Kings Live pregame. Jason Ross will have that with the high flyer. G-Man will join in. Kings and Mavs tonight, really the stakes couldn't be much higher in the regular season. Both teams at 42 and 29, both teams trying to get into the playoffs. 
as a seeded team not have to get in through the play in route tonight and Friday night are going to determine a lot about who will be in the top six and who won't. All right, let's first get to the injury report for tonight's contest. It's brought to you by the Arnold Law Firm, providing justice for you since 1975. If you're injured, call the Arnold Law Firm at 916-777-7777. That's an easy number to remember, but on a night when we're playing the maps, I don't want to read that many sevens yeah, tonight. Yeah, yeah, too many lucky sevens, huh? Exactly, <laughs> Lucas 77. <laughs> I, we're going to have to talk to the Arnold Law Firm. We're going to have to get another number for them. Yeah, we, they, they got to put How about some, five, 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 five? They got to put the fives Fox off in there. Five. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> More Kings fans coming by. We love it uh, as we're getting ready for a big one tonight. Cowbells are ready to go as well. Oh, yeah. All right. Our injury report. Let's get to it. For the Kings, Sasha Vazenkov continues to be out. Will not play tonight. And I'm really starting to wonder if we're going to see him again in the regular season. And if so, when? Uh, we were told that he might play on the road trip. Hasn't happened as of yet. Trey Lyles still out with the knee. Uh, Kevin Herter out with the shoulder. There have been a couple of people reporting uh, out for the season. The Kings haven't officially said that. I think it's pretty apparent that Kevin Herter's not mm. coming back anytime soon. So That's tough. It is tough. It is tough. And, of course, Kevin Herter was such a massive part of the team last year in their playoff run. It's been a tougher year this year for him. But uh, we'll see how the Kings can respond without their starting two guard. As for the Mavs, we told you Luca was on the questionable list. Well, lo and behold, he's playing tonight. No shock there. We knew that was no doubt. We knew that was coming I, down. I mean, they need this game just like we do. They so, do. He's been nursing know. a little bit of an Achilles, but nothing serious enough. And uh, again, if this game were in November or December on the second half of a back, he wouldn't play. Yeah, he wouldn't play. But. This game is, 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 is the magnitude is so heavy. He got to be out there on the floor, yeah. just like our guys. If our if a couple of our guys were struggling to where you know they had some ailments, you know what? Ice it up, tape it up, because you got to be out there on the floor. No doubt. All right, Maxi Kleba also questionable, but he will play tonight as well uh, for the Mavericks. Uh, Josh Green is out with an ankle. That's your injury update again. Brought to you by the Arnold Law Firm. Give them a call nine one six seven 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 seventy seven. 77. All right, let's break this one down tonight. Obviously, for the Kings, the battle in the backcourt is probably where it starts with Luka and Kyrie trying to somehow contain them, keep them off the three-point line. Obviously, the Kings' defense has been much better at the guard spot with Keon and De'Aaron and Davian coming off the bench. What do you expect from the Kings tonight? You know what, Scott? It's just not uh, down to keeping them off the three-point line because both of those guys can get downhill and get into the teeth of the defense and kill you. They can kill you that way. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it's more so just trying to hold those guys in check. All right. You know, Luke is going to score. Kyrie's going to score also. You just want to try to make it as hard as possible on those guys. Do not let those guys get open looks. Don't let them get easy looks. Make them work for everything that they can get because that's the only thing you can do. They are going to score. They're way too talented to say we're going to shut them down. We just seen a talented guy last night that came in here and went nuts in the first quarter, but the Kings made it tougher on him in the second, third, and fourth. That's what you want to do. Yeah, no doubt. And obviously the backcourt is among the best in the NBA. Some might rank it the best with Luka and Kyrie. The front line has gotten a lot better getting Derek Gafford, getting P.J. Washington. They have really beefed up inside. You know, I like P.J. Washington. I like what he did when he was with uh, the Hornets. You know, but that gave them another, you know, strong guy. That gave them another big body. They gave them another guy who can clog up the middle. They got that gave him. They gave them another guy who can also stretch the floor and knock down threes. PJ Washington has come into this building and has had big time nights. So we're no he. We know he's capable of doing it. So that's just another guy for the Sacramento Kings to really have to watch out for. Yeah, he's been a Kings killer. I wouldn't call him a Kobe White. Because Kobe White's the ultimate Kings assassin. But, you know, PJ's come in and had some pretty good games against us. Kobe White has, I mean, Kobe White has <laughs> been, ooh. You uh, trade for him just so he doesn't man. play against you twice a year. Right. Kobe White has been a thorn. But PJ Washington has been that guy that has had uh, very nice basketball games in this arena also. So, you know, he's a guy to where you're going to have to be able to keep an eye on him. You don't want him to get going. No, you can't let him get going. And obviously, with the Mavs, I mean, they're a good three-point shooting team. That has been a weakness for most of the year for uh, the Kings, guarding the three-point line. They certainly have been better 
against that lately, but you, you can't let Tim Hardaway Jr. come off the bench and kill you from outside. Dante Exum is playing better now. Um, you know, they've got a lot of firepower. You know, the main thing with the Sacramento Kings, Scott, is that they're going to have to be able to stay with their man. On-ball defense is going to be huge. I think if the Kings can stay with their man on-ball, I mean, Luka should be a, 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 a easier task. Kyrie, and I don't know, because <laughs> there, there's not too many guys who can stay in front of Kyrie man for man. But if the Kings can manage to do that to where they don't have to start helping, yeah. scrambling, stunting, mm -hmm. double teaming, and then firing back out to those reported uh, shots, the Kings do a decent uh, job of staying with their man and defending the three. Yeah. The problem comes when they have to start stunting and rotating and mm -hmm. then firing back out for the three. That's where it gets sketchy. Yeah, multiple uh, you know moves on defense. Right. That's where it comes down to it. Um, multiple efforts, um, you know, for the Mavs, we haven't talked about it a lot too, but Derek Lively was a great, uh, free agent pick, or a great draft pick to get Derek Lively as well. Yeah. You know, uh, another young player yeah. to, uh, implement into their scheme of things, get him up and acclimated because he's going to be a part of the future. Yeah, no doubt. So they're definitely better inside. Uh, this is a team again, that is rolling at nine and one. I'm, I'm interested to get your thoughts. You know, Jason kid. Well, you grew up with him. You guys are both from the Oakland area. You've had a chance to talk with him. What What do you think Jason Kidd's thinking right now about his team and everything that's going on? <laughs> well, he already said that these two games, they need them. Yeah. They need them. He likes the way his team mm -hmm. is playing. He understands they're playing good basketball. Yeah. But he also understands this, too. The Kings are scary. Yeah. The Kings are a scary team. They're, they're Jekyll and Hyde. Because to depend upon which team steps out on the floor, it may be a team that you can be competitive with and kind of try to overpower, or it might be a team to come out and shoot that basketball. No matter what you do, you're not going to beat them because they hot for three. Yeah. Is Jason Kidd the perfect coach for Luca? Jason Kidd is a perfect coach for players, period, because he's a point guard that really understands the game. You know, he, we, we always had had a saying because. Jason's basketball IQ was so large. Mm -hmm. We always said, if Jason Kidd comes down and he throws the ball out of bounds, it's not his fault. It's your mm -hmm. fault. That's where you were supposed to be. Yeah, He puts the ball to where you were supposed to be to where in order for you to score and, 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 and have a high rate of success. So when you playing for a coach like that, 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 that sees the game from a point guard's perspective, that's why a lot of coaches, think about it, a lot of coaches in the leagues, that have played in the league, what have they played? They played point. Yep. Think about it. Steve Kerr, he was a shooting guard, but he played point. All right. Willie Green played point. Uh, Monty was a small forward. Uh, I mean, you can go on and on, but most coaches in the NBA has played point guard because that's their mentality. Yeah, no doubt. Phil Jackson might be the notable exception to that. But for the most part, because the way you look at the game, you're running the game, it's kind of like, catchers in baseball just you know the position that you set up quarterbacks in football right it makes a lot of sense you're just the extension of the yep. coach while you're out there on the floor so yep. it's rightfully so that once you stop playing basketball you leave from being a point guard to being a coach Ty Lu, head coach yeah Ty Lu, point guard yep no all great points uh Malik Monk it's been a little bit of a struggle for him in the last few games and is it just Monk Funk or anything more we have to worry about? It's just the Monk Funk. I do not worry about Malik Monk. You know what? Last game, he he, he played decent. He didn't take a bunch of shots, but... Four of 11, he, 11 points. He, he, he was still able to score the basketball. Yep. So Malik Monk is Malik. Is Malik. He, he's yeah. going to come out and give you whatever he's got. Okay. Now, Davian obviously was great last night, and he came in primarily to try and shut down Maxi. Keon was struggling early on. I mean, anybody in the league would have struggled against Tyrese early on, but Davian was great offensively last night. Six of nine floor, three of four from downtown, three of four at the line. You know what? Davion Mitchell is a freak when, you, when it comes down to – being able to slide with his man and stay mm -hmm. in front of his man like that, move his feet. He's one of the best in the business at that. That's why he was elected to put on Maxi because Keon Ellis can defend anybody. But Maxi's first step, dude, the way he just, mm -hmm. I mean, the, the, the way he attacks the rim and then he stops and creates, you know, distance mm -hmm. to be able to get his shot off. If you can't stay in front of him, he gets to the rim and score. 
So Davion Mitchell was able to slide with him and stay with him. So that's why they elected to keep him on it. Yeah, no doubt. And uh, obviously the Kings did a good job against Buddy, too. Crowd let Buddy hear it again last night. Why does the Sacramento Kings fans boo Buddy? I don't know. I've been trying to figure that one out. I mean, I, I, I would honestly like to uh, ask some. We need somebody to call in and, yeah. Why are they booing Buddy? I, I, I mean, if it's Spencer Halls, I understand. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, I'm like, but, but Buddy Hill, why are we booing Buddy? Buddy Buddy. Yeah, I don't remember anything being too offensive with Buddy. It was great to see. Right. Uh, it's great to see Bobby Jackson get his props last night. You know what? That was nice. That was very nice. That was classy. Whoever in the organization came up with that, that was a very classy move to give B Jack his love because B Jack has done everything that he could do for this organization. Yep. All right. Other things you're looking for tonight. It's a rare home and home against the Mavs with two days off in between. It's it's a mini playoff series. Man, this is special, Scott. It we, is. We, we've never had nothing like this. I mean, even with the playoffs run with, with Golden State, you know, we didn't have this type of magnitude. Well, it was it was, it was up there, too. Sure. I, gotta, I gotta give it that. But sure. For right now, in regular season, we've had nothing this important to where we got to play tonight, have a couple of nights to think about it. Regroup, yep. go see what works, what didn't work, or what you want to continue to do, and then come out and get it done again. No doubt. And for Sabonis, again, he broke the single-season consecutive double-double record. Tonight he has a chance to tie Jerry Lucas for the franchise record of 55 games. Jerry did that over two seasons with the Kings. Over two. And Sabonis had done it in what? Uh, 55 games, 54 50, games. 55 games. <laughs> if he does it tonight, 54 in a row, going I mean, for 55 tonight. That just goes to show Joe DiMaggio. how much the game has changed, Scott. Mm-hmm. But you know what? For Sabonis and whatever he's doing, man, keep doing what you're doing. Do not stop. Keep on pushing. Yeah. This Sacramento Kings team needs you. They need everything that you bring to the table. And, man, you know what? All I can say is for tonight, we need 150%, Scott. Yep, let's bring it. You can tell the energy is high. People are starting to make their way towards Golden One Centered. What a great afternoon out here. Our thanks to Beachhead Deli for allowing us to broadcast outside their beautiful downtown location. Come on out and check them out. The best sandwiches in the city, bar none. Thanks to Brad, Wakai, Troy Feist, David Reeves. We appreciate your hospitality. Hi, Flyer. As always, great to work with you. Have a great call tonight. Yes, sir. I got to get in here. I got to get it done. We got to get moving, my friend. Yes, sir. All right, coming up next, it's Kings Live pregame. Jason Ross will have that with the High Flyer. That's coming your way next. Keep it tuned all evening long. We've got you covered. It's a big one tonight. Kings and Mavs right here. Sacktown Sports, 1140. Slow down. Held back. Inhibited. What you get out depends on what you put in. Rejuvenate your engine's performance with Shell V-Power Nitro Plus Premium Gasoline. Because true performance knows no bounds. New and improved Shell V-Power Nitro Plus removes up to 100% of performance robbing deposits to rejuvenate your engine's performance. Continuous use in gasoline direct injection engine fuel injectors. Sacramento fans, it's more fun to see your Kings hit the court live. And when you need tickets to the next game, Ticketmaster has got you covered with a wide selection of seats available. As the official ticket marketplace of the Sacramento Kings and the NBA, Ticketmaster gives you more ways to find your perfect seat, whether you're making plans in advance or heading to the game last minute. And if your plans change, Ticketmaster gives you more flexibility to sell or transfer your tickets. Plus, mobile tickets make getting in on game day a breeze. Buy or sell tickets today at Ticketmaster.com. Cyber threats are becoming more sophisticated every day, devastating businesses of all sizes in every industry. That's why the Sacramento Kings have partnered with Acronis, the world leader in cybersecurity backups and tools, and Executech, the leading IT services provider in the West, to make the Golden One Center as intimidating to hackers as it is to opposing teams. No matter the size of your business, teaming up with Acronis and Executech is the best way to keep your business secure and your mind at peace. To learn more, visit Executech.com slash Kings. This is our season, Kings fans. Let's finish what we started. We're not just talking about basketball, of course, but our goal to get to zero litter. Well, we have doubters. We're used to that. But this city is built on believers, 